Hello friends. So in this vlog, what I am going to cover is SQL Server audits. So before we start to see and learn what SQL Server audits mean in SQL Server 2008, I would like to explain audits briefly. So by auditing we mean we are trying to see how far a set of rules are being conformed. Uh, by which I mean and on, uh, we want to audit uh, time to time and see what is the logins that are that have tried to gain access onto the SQL Server or what are the tables uh, and who uh, were the people or what were the credentials with which inserts and updates happened on that table. So this is auditing. We are not going to forbid or restrict them but we want to have an, a set of audits in place which we can through which we can check. So so far thus far in SQL Server products 2000 and onwards what we did is we used to create triggers and based upon then enforce auditing and uh, the other case being DBS used to have profilers uh, to uh, generate the trace files and then check uh, the profiler and see uh, and audit the servers time to time. But now with SQL Server 2008, we a SQL Server has introduced auditing uh, which we are going to see briefly in this demo. So SQL Server, uh, I have installed SQL Server Developer Edition. So let's try to see what auditing is and how we can configure it. Auditing has three main forms. So first, what we are trying uh, going to configure is we are going to configure the audits at the server level, which we mean we are going to configure audits where we are going to save the audit files. So let's name this audit as we just put an audit server and then we set the delay queue to milliseconds and then we also have an option to shut down the server uh, if the audit log is failure uh, audit log fails we would not do so i keep this unchecked and we want to save our audits to a file there are other three options security log and application logs also so i would put this on the disk on my sql folder i give the directory path where i would want to save this audits to so I put it on audits folder so that is when where you're going to configure your audits or, or save your audits to so we say okay and by default an audit uh, audit with the name of audit server is created and it is disabled by default so that is this is the dump or, or the space where you're going to save your audits the next thing is auditing the server and then auditing the database so let's create an audit quickly on the server level so we will get the principles on which we are on the basis of which uh, we are going to audit so these are the these are the criteria we can name the server audit and then we can use this is going to be the dump it will uh, the space where you want the audit to be saved is where you would uh, point your audits to on the server level so the principles based on which you want uh, on which you want to audit are these uh, which are flagging on the drop down so we say fail login group and then we leave it so that's a configured audit for all the failed logins for all the people who try to gain access onto the server and do not have access so we would get to know the people who have actually tried to log on unsuccessfully onto the server the next thing we go to is the database audit so these is this is an example of a server audit the next i do is a tran data data uh, database and i would just try to set up an audit on the database level so this is the audit specification and again we need to select the dump where we want to save the audits and we are to select the criteria so i say insert and then i also say update update on what I want it on an object so I select the object and then the object name so I call it EMP table so I have an employee table I want to audit upon this table inserts and also updates cool so we have cons configured let's also configure the principal we call it DBU and then we set up this audit so if you can see we have set up a database audit 
and then a server audit and these both these audits are going to be uh, synced up or are going to be saved on the audit server that we have set up and there is we need we'll be finding an audit file on this space since we are going to set it up so let's try to enable these audits first we go and enable the server level audits and then we will try to enable the database audit we've done that as soon as we do that we find a file created which is of the extension sql dot sql audit at the space where we want to save the audit file next thing what I do here is let me try to insert a record I have this table employee and these are the records in the employee table I try to insert a record and then let's try to update this as well if you can see I try to update this as well next let me try to log on to this server with an incorrect with a, any any incorrect login this is a, a login which doesn't exist So it failed now if we go ahead and, and try to figure out the audits this is the query this is the function that we are going to use and point the audits that we have the file name and then we'll query out the audits so if you see these are the audits audited data all the details of the audited data we have these records the insert update and then we also have a login failure so these are all the columns let's try to bring down and filter out some of the columns and then try to make sense with this data so what I see here is we have the event time when all of these events occurred we have the action ID we have the database name we have the query that was executed and we have the login names of the people who tried to log in and also for the login you can see the machine from which login was tried login was tried and then the person who tried to log in so basically this is a is this is a, a simpler mechanism uh, of auditing that sql server has, has introduced and also in terms of saving the audits you can save them into a file and then also recycle it the best you can. So this is the very simple demonstration for all of you on SQL Server auditing. Thank you friends.